All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. Um, but first, what's up, all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. Do y'all like the shirt? This is my, like I said, man, this is my energy from here on for a long time. Forgive me if I don't shake hands, man. You like the shirt, man? Listen here, man. You know, you already know this is a shameless plug. Get you one, man. Go to the store. Get you one, man. Now, the shirts, I normally can get these out real quick. Now, it's going to take a couple of days. Probably got to give me like three or four days on them just for me to be able to get them shipped. Probably longer in some cases, just depending on what you order because... Um, with this whole thing. I used to be able to walk straight into the store and get what I needed and get out. With Georgia opening back up Friday or so, you know, I might be able to do that soon, but, you know, I, I can't do that right now. Um, so if you ordered anything, everything has been shipped out. There's only one order left. And then the last thing that I want to show y'all, man, if you have a custom logo or something like that, look, bro, come to the, come to the site. Bam. Choose yourself a custom logo, man. Let, let's, find, let's find a logo in here, man. Hey, let's go with, uh, like my boy Gambit. This is my boy Gambit's logo, right? Boom. He sent me the logo. Come on here. Resize that thing, by. Resize it. I say resize it. Got to shrink it down just a tad. Ooh. Ooh. There it is right there. Shrink it down just a tad. Then you close that thing up like that, bye. I say close that thing up, bye. Get it like that. Bam, check. Boom, you got your shirt, man. And then, like I said, I already got his stuff done, man. I got, I, I put his on Twitter. www.instagram.com slash jeezy. You'll be able to see these orders when you're done, man. Come to instagram.com slash jeezy, man. Look, this is all the shirts I got up there. Look at this thing, though, boy. Can't look at it because I ain't signed in. It is what it is, though. But look, though. Hey, that's one shirt. Boom. That's the, Look, man, I got shirts, man. I got shirts. Anyway, man. I know that ain't what y'all here for, man. Y'all here to talk about what we here to talk about, man. So we're going to get right into it. I just had to get my shameless plug out of the way. How y'all been doing? Let me know how quarantine is treating you down in the comment section and all that good stuff, man. Let me know if you if you enjoying the time off of work. Are you off of work? Are you not getting paid? Is it tough on you because of debt? Do they allow you to collect? Hopefully they're not, they're allowing you to collect unemployment and you're and you doing it and you just cooling kicking back being cool and everything and you watching me on the um regular i realized that I, I i thought putting a lot of videos out during this time would be cool and i realized most people just watch videos when they're either at work or they're on their way to work so the views hasn't been what so make sure y'all like the video man but let's just get right into everything man my boy swan Tate, man he asked a question real quick man swan swan says do y'all think 2K21 will be delayed uh, because of everything that's going on, man? And that's a very interesting question, Swan. I want to know what y'all think. It shouldn't be delayed. I mean, we're still getting patches. We're still getting everything like that. They're still working on 2K20. So I would think that it wouldn't be delayed, but it could be delayed just because of a lot of the things that they have to do. Like, you can't be around people. You can't do a whole bunch of stuff like that. So, like, when that, them, like, the actual programming part of the game, no problem. There's no reason that that shouldn't, you know, get done in a timely fashion. That should get done straight up. But the thing is this. You know they have to have people out there. They have to schedule meetings with people. They have to have people to come in to do mocap. They have to have people to come in and um, do all these things. They got to have a mocap team that they have to have people to come in to do the motion cap. They have to come in to get you captured and capture your whole body. Do all this stuff. So they have to do all of these things, right? And all of these things require being around people. Now, the people that you work for and work with, yes, that's fine. You can have, that's why you put, uh, that's why you put perimeter defense on your center, man. I, I started that way. Uh, don't at me. Anyway, uh, like I said, you have to, they have to call these people in. They have to do a lot of this stuff, man. And a lot of the stuff, um, it, it just has to be done in person. And a lot of people can't get out. Like some states, they're not allowing you to travel. Uh, Georgia, you can travel. They're going to open the state back up at the end. Uh, do I think that they should be able to get it done? Yeah. But they're going to they're gonna have to run a, a very compressed schedule, man. They should be able to get it done. But will they be able to get it done? That's the thing. Like I said, obviously we know that the programming team, Art and all that, all those teams are working. They're still there. They're still doing their thing. They're still viable. All those guys are still working and stuff. But just the fact 
when you think about it, like the people have to come in, they have to fly people in and all that stuff. Will we will we be free in time enough to do that? Or will enough things open up? Because like we said, we got NBA players that can't move. They got to get more cap. The rookies got to get more cap. They got to do the things with the rookies. They got to do all these things. Now, they probably can do something where people can, if, 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 if you got the uh, M. Taylors, can can body you up off a cell phone i'm pretty sure that they can probably do something similar to the same thing uh with with play players and or they can you know go around their face and then they can mo cap from the uh from their stuff trays up splash down this should have been green how many times have y'all shot the ball and it should have been green and you know whatever it is what it is man but uh since the pats like you're like bro that should have been green why was it not green and it still goes in signifying that it should have been green but it is what it is like i said they're gonna have to call people out they're gonna have to pay out people to come down there they're gonna have the people to do stuff yes i believe that the game will be completed as as in completed but the extracurricular things Will those be completed? Like I said, they should have all the NBA players. They should be able to use most of the stuff from last year. They should be able to update things like they update things uh, here and there. But the problem in lies, uh, like like I said, rookies and stuff like that. What what's what's going to be uh, the fallout with that? How are they going to get those people in? If the NBA starts back, I don't think we'll have a problem. They can call people in one at a time to minimize things, but at the same time, like I said, we still if, if travel doesn't open back up, it's going to be tough. It's just, it just is what it is. It's going to be very tough if travel doesn't open back up. I believe that things will open back up in time. Our state is opening everything back up. I don't agree with it. I really don't have a choice. I think they've just run the numbers and said, hey, people going to die anyway, man. So, hey, if they if they, 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 they treating us, they're giving us the Dolph Lundgren. If, we, if he dies, he dies. But we going back to work. It is what it is. Fortunately, I work from home. I don't have to deal with that stuff. I've been working from home for uh, almost 10 years or so, over 10 years, really. So, I really don't have anything to worry about. But... Everybody is not as fortunate as I am, so you know it is what it is. We're gonna see how this thing works out, man. Hopefully, hopefully the game, maybe they'll just put the game out and um, like I'm pretty sure the storyline is already finished and all that, the my career and all that stuff. But the little extras that go in the game, uh, like when they gotta call, they gotta call Red out, they gotta call Agent out, they gotta call Duke out, all that stuff. Will they use that stuff from last year and just have an event after everything opens up, or if we get back to it in July? Will they just have to schedule those things on top of each other and be like, hey, you know, they're scheduled on top of each other, but it's still only one person at a time, clean the suit, come in, whatever. It is what it is. We're going to see, man. It looks like they used to call everybody to the event and do it, so they may just have to do it one at a time now. Tickets and all that stuff going to cost the same. Anyway, up next, man, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the, in, the, in the description. I mean, in the comments. Do you think that they'll be able to do it, or do you think they're not going to be able to pull it off? I think they'll be able to pull it off. It shouldn't be a problem. And uh, we should be good to go. Anyway, up next, man, Mike Wong put out a uh, poll, man, and he's asking, um, asking about layups, man. Hold on, let's let's see what happens right here. T to me in the corner. Step one, kick, dog. Right. He's asking if you're taking a wide open, uncontested layup, but have terrible time, and should you should there be a chance to miss? Uh, I put yes, user error. Some people put no, these are NBA pros. And some people put yes, only on high difficulty. Now, if you put no, these are pros, I completely understand. And let me tell you why. I say yes, because we have to have user error. And I feel like people make too many layups in the game right now anyway. And the way that it is, it's like you're making too much. It's already very forgiving. You can go right up into a center's chest and slithery will save you. You can go right up into a center's chest and have bad time and late. If the center didn't jump before you start going up, you're going to make the layup. It just is what it is, man. But the thing is, people cried so bad at the beginning of the year because they said they were smoking wide open layups, right? And you already smoking wide open dunks. I say that there should be room for user error because maybe that'll start making people miss the contested layups. But just like we saw with the uh, alley-oop frequency and all of that stuff, in order for them to change this, they a lot of times, trades up, green bean money team, splash down. In order for them to to do stuff like this, man, and them dudes are supposed to be super good, man. But hey, me and, me and the burner, I keep that burner beside me, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. We ain't messing with that, that stuff, man. But like, like I said, man, y'all already know what normally happens when 2K messes with anything. They mess with shot timing. They made it so that you can make dunks and you can complete alley-oops. What ended up happening? Now you can't miss shots because they had to mess with the overall shot falling frequency and they had to also mess with the contest, the shot contest logic. 
They mess with that. Now whites is going in. Contested whites going in. Everything is going in, man. And the game is, is it really feels like it's almost in an abysmal place. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, I don't really like where it is. But hey, what can you do? My center can shoot right in center's face right now. So as long as they don't block the shot, the shot's going to be green. It's going in. It is what it is. I wish that they would change it. I wish that there was a way that they could change it. So if you timed it terribly, that you might miss. But then we might, it might end up that if they change that, then it's also going to change it to where where you're going to be smoking every layup then. And then, like, like just leave it alone, 2K. Like, I want people to be able to miss badly timed layups, and I want y'all to stop people holding people's hand. What you need to do is punish people for badly timed steals. That's what we need to stop. Stop letting people just spam in the lane. <laughs> That's not basketball. Ain't one of you bums that we play against that sit there and spam the lane and sweat it y'all good. You probably got two steals, lifetime, and that includes pickup ball. Cause you, you, you probably shaped like a butter ball and can't even get out there in front of You ain't never stole no 10 passes in a game. You ain't seen nobody like, maybe Stacey Augman got a lot of them steals and got steals like that. Maybe Mookie Blaylock, GP might have one. Mike might have a 10 steal game. John Stockton might have one. Um, um, we talking about the, some of the greatest defenders of all time, Plastic Man uh, and, and Scottie Pippen. You know what I'm saying? You might have guys, they, they might have a 10 steal game. Maybe, maybe AI hey, got one. One. But bro, you got dudes out here sitting here spamming the lane. <laughs> and swear that's good defense. Take it back to two, 2K18. If you press the button and the ball doesn't come, you should be down court, bro. So if I pass fake, that's, that's gotta be a, 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 a something for that. Let's start with that logic before you start messing with layups. Cause I bro, just leave it like it is. T put it back to how it was day one. Where you can smoke them if, if somebody's really close to you. But then again, like I said, somebody with low interior defense shouldn't be able to stop you from making a layup, bro. Leave it how it is. Just don't mess with nothing, Mike. Leave it how it is, cause you're gonna break everything if you do it. If you if you if you tone it down to where you can miss open layups, people are gonna be missing every layup, open or not. And then it's going to be impossible to make a layup. And if you turn it up anymore, like you already said, then nobody's going to ever miss a layup again. They already ain't missing layups unless you're a really good center. So it is what it is, man. Leave it alone, bro. Just leave it alone. That's what I say. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. They should have put just leave it where it is right now and the hell with it. But, but I am tired of seeing 98% smothered late, very late, going in. I'm tired of that. But I'm also tired of seeing people spam the damn passing lane and thinking they're good. You ain't good because you spamming the passing lane and you got a game that lets you stay in continuous <laughs> and you're not moving. People are just spamming. That's like my dog Coyote say, you're just pressing the button because a pass happened. Not because you think you got a chance to pass. You don't see that ball coming. You just see the person get stuck. And because he gets stuck, you just pressing the button because a pass happened. You're not reacting to anything. This game should be a read and react type of game. But you bums never played basketball. You don't even know what read and react is. You don't even know how to read and react across the screen. You don't even know how to trap the pick. So, so it doesn't matter. And you can't do that in 2K anyway. Because if you trap the pick on 2K and then he rolls to the hole, you can still make the, you can't make a TP over somebody so he can't pass the ball. He got to throw a pass. It's going to take a long time. And then somebody can rotate. In this game, oh, Oh, they trapped me. I'll just throw it to the center, and it automatically gets there. Let's start working, worrying about other stuff like that before we talk about little stuff like this, Mike. That's all I'm saying, bro. And last but not least, man, speaking of big carries, man, look, man, my man, your boy, man, man, Grindhard came back to the game today, man. I had 32 of them things. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's him. He, he only drives. He ain't got his badges yet. Hey, let me tell y'all something, man. Hey, man, man, still tough as a bitch in this game. And y'all already know that his game was ISO, get to the rim, hop, step, and duck on somebody anyway. Woo, we had some good games out there. But once we switch to that 3 2 zone, that 2 3 zone, start blowing people a lot. It's about to get ugly, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man, about all this stuff. Is 2K gonna get delayed? What do we need to worry about? The passing lanes before we start worrying about this, you know, the layups and stuff? And um, do y'all think man, man, gonna come back in, in full effect, man? I think. I think uh, 2K is not gonna be delayed, but some of the content may have to be patched in later. I feel like um, I feel like layups. Just leave it how it is, bro. We we didn't got used to it. And uh, yeah, big carries. Eight of eight of eleven from three. And the, and the, you know the ones I miss. 
You know, I, I, there was bad shots. Y'all know I like to play around anyway. Anyway, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on everything. All those links down in the description. Star Lito Buttermilk in the city tonight, man. Y'all holler me next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap. God speak. Forgive me if I don't shake hands. I'm out, man. Peace. <laughs>